was watching Monday Night Raw and I couldn't help but see 2K went ahead and dropped the commercial on WWE 2K24. They gave us a sneak peek at what the DLC will look like, the moves will look like. They did such a good job, man. I feel like the marketing has been top tier for WWE 2K24. It's a shame that some of the things on there are still broken, but the marketing has been just A1. Just to speak about some of the things we saw, I saw a new weapon on there. And I saw Terry Funk holding up a barbed wire bat. Now, guys, I don't know what that can mean. Will this be free? Will it be sold to us? I think it'll be free. I think it'll just be patched in with the patch that comes into WWE 2K24. I'm really excited about this. I think that this is a welcomed addition to the game. And I think that it's cool that they're doing things like this. Adding little goodies in there and things like that with the DLC. Just to make it even a little bit better. A little more incentivized. It's cool, in my opinion. When you give away free stuff like this, it don't really hurt your pockets too much. You drop in just a free weapon. I'm a big fan of this. And I like the fact that, you know, that they're dropping it uh, with Terry Funk. It makes a lot of sense to drop it with the ECW Punk Pack. As you guys know, ECW was crazy, so perfect pack to add that in. Will we be getting more weapons throughout the DLC packs, or is this just something that we're just getting now, and that's pretty much it? They're just letting us have fun with it. I don't know, but I'm really excited to see what else comes out with the next DLC packs. But there's another thing that we do need to talk about, and that is My Faction. They dropped the trailer on My Faction or a teaser, whatever you want to call it, letting us know that Roman Reigns Persona card with the man bun is going to be available to us. And I think that is so amazing because I've been raving and talking about these Persona cards and they're finally taking advantage of it. And I think that the best thing they could have done that was a good trailer to drop it's cool you gave us man bun roman and it's a persona card so when we grind it you'll be able to unlock it all across your game so if you did not download that creation from what's the status back when the game actually dropped you guys did not know that was a my rise version of roman reigns and they went ahead and unlocked it and yeah i mean I'm just so excited about this. I think that this is good. It's a welcome change for my faction. Keep teasing that. Keep dropping trailers. I know that right now it most likely is just trying to just catapult off CM Punk being in the game after a decade. But I think it's just really, really good stuff that my faction is getting that attention, that spotlight, especially on TV. So big W by 2K. I'm a fan of that because, man, y'all don't understand how happy that makes me. My faction is something right now, man, that definitely needs a lot of work in terms of persona cards but it looks like they're finally getting around to it seth rollins is getting his oddities you got trick williams getting oddities everybody's getting oddities and i think that right now with this roman reigns being part of a live event what really worries me more is what will you need what is the card required for it because a lot of those cards do cost a lot like i know that the dusty Rhodes he goes like thirty-seven thousand my faction points and to you guys that may not be a lot but to me it is i mean i play the game a lot but the fact that i gotta go through that and grind and you know it sucks because when you pull cards they should be auctionable but unfortunately they're not or not even auctionable just let me quick sell them for a set amount if I don't want the card but 2k doesn't give you that option so you're basically just stuck just card collecting and nothing else so I'm really hoping that this is something that you know they continue to fix and improve on in the future but the my faction card for Roman Reigns is a W and in the trailer guys they showed CM Punk doing a GTS and from that angle you can't really tell if it's a new animation or old animation but CM Punk nonetheless looks good Drew McIntyre is taking a GTS of course so uh looks nice the Dudleys did a move as well you see Sandman hitting somebody with the candlestick I mean that pretty much wasn't too crazy because the candlestick breaks the same as it does when you're playing the game yourself so not too many changes there of course, the change that we already talked about is the barbed wire bat. And I think that for the barbed wire bat to go on ahead and be successful in this game, I think that you should have a very, very high percentage at bleeding if you do get hit with it. Because at the end of the day, there is barbed wire wrapped around that bat. And I think that that's really, really essential in terms of bleeding to make it feel realistic, make it feel believable. Because if I'm just getting smacked with the barbed wire bat and nobody's bleeding or anything like that, then what's the difference aside from the aesthetic and what it looks like in game? There's many, many different things that they can do with this. And like I said, I'm just glad that the DLC is a welcomed new change because we as fans, we deserve so much more, especially with this year's game. Gameplay wise, great game. I love it gameplay wise. I can't praise it enough, but in terms of depth and where the game is going with universe mode or 
showcase it doesn't really turn me on too much but before we get out of here guys hopefully we do get a patch soon maybe when you guys are watching this video a patch has already dropped because i am recording this a couple hours before the drop so hey there's a lot going on i'm hoping that the patch is good for this game because they are going to get a lot of backlash you went out there banned creators then unbanned them and started all this stuff and it just showed where their priorities were if you know that patch comes out to not be nearly as big or as impactful as the audience and community is expecting it to be so there's a lot riding on this patch dlc looks fun everything looks good but this patch really really needs to hold things up and, and and hold this game together because the game right now like i said good in different aspects but very bad in other aspects as well and that's just my respectful criticism on it let me know down below if you guys are excited for man bun roman reigns the barbed wire bat let me know man if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you guys like comment and subscribe i'm gonna catch y'all peace